We'd like to start the teaching awards ceremonies before people have to leave for the day. We want to, uh, our honorees to have as large a, uh, an audience as possible. Um, I just want to say a few words before I bring up um, the presenters of the awards. Um, we were tremendously gratified and inspired by the um, wonderful nominations we got for teaching in each of the three categories, teaching face-to-face, -face, online teaching, and community-engaged teaching. And in fact, we had such a difficult time making um, a decision that we decided to give an honorary mention award in each category. The, the, um, the winners will be getting tablets, and we wish that we had the means to provide tablets to the honorary mentions. Um, since we did not, we are giving them um, book prizes. What the a book by Ken Bain um, of Harvard University Press, what the best college teachers know. And um, it's a wonderful book, but it's also a way of telling um, our honored uh, winners that we think they're part of that club. They clearly know what the best college teachers um, know and do. So the face-to-face -face award will be presented by Denise Patman. The online award will be presented by Jason Campos. And the Community Engaged Award will be presented by Camille Martinez. So um, thanks, Denise. Yeah. Thank you, Judy. Uh, and I hope you all enjoyed the sessions today as much as I did. Uh, thank you very much for staying and doing this. So the face-to-face -face teaching award is given to an individual who has advanced his or her instructional practice in new ways, which involves deep learning and advances innovative thinking. This year, for the first time, as Judy mentioned, the Conference Planning Committee sent out a request to deans and department chairs to nominate prospective students. We received a record number of recommendations. In total, there were 15 face-to-face -face nominees. Each nomination was thoughtful, thoroughly written, and arrived in Camille's mailbox on time. In other words, the competition was steep. So our honorable mention award goes to Dr. Jen Bowen. In her own words, and I quote, Dr. Bowen, the most elegant science combines advancing fundamental knowledge in a scientific discipline with outcomes that are relevant to local communities, end of quote. Jen Bowen has incorporated this philosophy into her courses from first year to graduate level students. And she has shared these experiences with enthusiasm and conviction with colleagues at a CIT forum she pre pre participated in last year. She brings real world issues into the classroom and develops a team hands-on approach to solve problems. Using a metagenomics approach and the in-house DNA sequencer, her first year seminar worked closely with the New England Aquarium to analyze microbial contaminants in their many tanks. Working with watershed organizations, her graduate course determined the nutrient lead reductions needed to restore native eelgrass to local estuaries. Her current advanced undergraduate course is now monitoring age-correlated changes in the gut microbes of penguins at New England Aquarium to evaluate health-related issues in captive populations. All courses that Jen teaches create dynamic learning environments by melding theory and background content with advanced tools and technologies used in applied research. On behalf of the conference organizing committee, we offer you this gift and award 
for your outstanding face-to-face -face teaching. Rick will be accepting the award in Jen's, Jen's uh, absence, so please. Thank you, my friend. Shouldn't take my picture. <laughs> Jen, Jen thanks you all. I can't say that I feel bad for her because she's at the Monterey Aquarium in California right now at another conference. But she really does appreciate this, and I will make sure she understands how uh, important it was. Yes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. <clears throat> After careful deliberation amongst the faculty on the conference organizing committee, Dr. Jana Kellinger, associate professor in the curriculum and instruction department in the College of Education and Human Development, is today's first place winner. Jana joined the faculty at UMass Boston in 2006 and received tenure in 2012. During the past year, Jana taught courses in teaching and learning English, loon literacies, and English methods. She successfully integrates technology in all of her courses, and she created a new course in the department based on techniques from video games this year. In this class, she had her students complete assignments at different levels, choosing their path through the course, revising and resubmitting work through their negotiations in a simulated game-like environment. <clears throat> Jana's knowledge of and deep interest in gamifying through the use of technology in the classroom spurred the entire CIT board to nominate her for this prestigious award. Furthermore, Jana has created two e-portfolios in TaskStream, which is now being used by all education licensure students. Finally, Dr. Jana Killinger wrote an article entitled, The Flip Side, Concerns About New Literacies, Paths Educators Might Take, in which she critiques current trends in technology and education as being techno-replicative or techno-transformative. These are her terms. You've got to read in her article. Jana continues to provide opportunity for UMass Boston to be on the cutting edge of deep learning through the use of technology and innovative curriculum design. Congratulations on being awarded this honor of a tablet. Next, uh, Jason Campos will be presenting the online awards. Good afternoon. Uh, for those who, uh, of you who don't know me, my name is Jason Campos. I'm the manager of online education within the College of Advancing and Professional Studies. Um, it's my uh, privilege and pleasure to uh, recognize two faculty in the area of online uh, learning here at UMass Boston. Our first uh, uh, awardee is for the honorable mention category is uh, Gerilyn Quinlan. Um, Gerilyn is a lecturer in the College of Public and Community Service and began teaching online in the undergraduate gerontology program in the fall of 2008. She has taught a number of courses over the years, including um, such courses as concepts of aging, working with elders, legislative process in the elderly, and intervention with elders. Ms. Quinlan has achieved the program goal of maintaining the elements of and so service learning as the program has tra transitioned from the conventional brick and mortar classroom to an online environment. One notable approach is the weekly synchronous and archived WIMBA sessions to provide undergraduates structure and opportunity to feel more connected. 
These weekly sessions are highly interactive and used for discussion, questions, and sharing. Ms. Quinlan's strategy is to produce weekly brief 20 to 25 minute narrated Adobe Presenter lectures on the following week's topic and post them online. This has been an effective learning experience for both visual and auditory learners. The service learning requirement of friendly visit field placements to isolated older adults as well as agency-based internships has been managed successfully at a distance with Ms. Quinlan involved in the identification of community-based agencies and placements of students across the nation. Student and agency feedback confirm positive impact of these strategies. It is my pleasure on behalf of the conference committee to present the honorable mention award for the 2014 innovation in teaching, online teaching to Gerilyn Quinlan. And this year's uh, first place award uh, goes to uh, Jeremy Sider, who uh, teaches in the Critical and Creative Thinking program here at UMass Boston. Since 2008, Jeremy Sider has served as an assistant to the director and then assistant director with teaching responsibilities for the Critical and Creative Thinking graduate program, whose home is now in the College of Advancing in Professional Studies. When Jeremy uh, Sider first taught Critical and Creative Thinking 670, Thinking, Learning, and Computers, in the fall of 2009, student evaluations including the included the following comments. I was shocked when I heard that this was the first online course that Professor Sider taught. His course was well organized, easy to navigate, and the instructions were very clear. Another comment. This course should be offered to every student as a gift for graduation with a useful degree to go out into any additional fields of study and or integrate into the working world. There were things I learned in this course that have, a kind of, that have kind of put my whole academic studies into perspective. And I finally feel like I've joined the digital 21st century and the positive evaluations have continued since then. I just want to make mention of some of the um, innovations that Jeremy has incorporated into uh, his course. The use of wikis, for one. Collaboratively, collaboratively developing understanding around course topics. Small groups within the course each have their own wiki page and develop a single essay or resource guide addressing a key question within within month-long course themes. The wiki structure reduces the anxiety that students commonly have around group work. When, for example, it is hard to find times to conference together or there are long delays in getting responses from fellow group members. The second innovation is the implementation of a teaching and learning portfolio. Over several weeks of the course, students explore a self-defined topic around some emerging issue that connects digital technology and thinking and learning. They develop a teaching learning portfolio that becomes the foundation for teaching others in the course to appreciate how the topic is relevant to them or understand how to engage with it. Topics have included social media, support for collaboration, digital addictions, and managing multiple online identities. The third one is a discussion board format of two quotes, two questions. Students identify at least two quotes and two questions from the set of readings that they've covered and write a weekly short essay using those, referring to personal examples that connect their work with the readings. 
Deeper discussion threads happen because the format allows for thoughtful responses even from those who haven't read the same readings as the essay's author. And the last um, one that I would like to mention is information literacy practitioner statement. Assignments get developed and revised at multiple points throughout a course. This is a one-page statement that identifies the intersection between information theory, I'm sorry, information literacy and their own work with the key principles to be applied and developed into practice. Periodic revising in response to personal ongoing learning as well as direct feedback models a practice that needs to continue indefinitely beyond the course given that information literacy in digital technologies continue to change quickly. On behalf of the conference committee, it's my pleasure to award the 2014 Innovation and Online Teaching Award to Jeremy Sider. And as uh, Jeremy is due a, uh, an iPad for me, um, it's on back order, and um, he knows why I work. Um, <laughs> and uh, we will be able to get that to him very, very soon. But in the meantime, congratulations, Jeremy. And next up is uh, Camille, who will be presenting the community. <laughs> Thank you. I'm bad. I'm bad with mics, so tell me if I'm off. Um, I am honored to present the Innovation and Community Engaged Teaching Awards. Um, our honorable mention uh, winner is Dr. Shirley Tang, who is an associate professor of Asian American Studies. Uh, she is nominated for her bilingual community engagement with Asian American elders, including work with advanced Asian American studies students on multilingual elder documentation projects in her Asian American studies course 397, um, where her first year, with both first year students and with, um, I'm sorry, with first year students in, in her first year seminar, um, Asian American Visual Culture and Cool. Um, she works closely with an Asian American Studies alumni staff uh, coordinator at the Greater Boston Chinese Golden Age Center in Boston's Chinatown. Um, Shirley's students have engaged directly and substantively with immigrant elders through ESL conversation, photo sh story sharing, oral histories, food and fashion <laughs> documentation, public service announcements, and other innovative projects, including most notably a student-created website that digitally conveys the complex bilingual interactions with a Chinese immigrant family caring for a grandmother with advanced Alzheimer's disease. Providing these community-engaged uh, learning opportunities for both advanced students and first-year general education students is an additional dimension of Shirley's commitments. Um, I know from, that Shirley was really pleased to um, be our award winner, and she tried really hard to get here. Um, I think she's probably on a train or a bus or somewhere en route, but she didn't make it. So Peter is going to accept the award on her behalf. So it is my pleasure to present the Innovation and Community Engaged Teaching to Professor Shirley Tang via Peter. <laughs> Okay. Um, our winner is Dr. Sarah Kamhai, who developed the Health Ambassadors Program in partnership with Go Kids, and she integrated it into her exercise and health science course, um, which is pediatric exercise, where her students learn content related to growth, development, and maturation of children and adolescents, and how these relate to components of fitness. Um, including body composition, muscle strength, etc. Um, in addition to promoting a connection to the local community and enhancing civic engagement, her students volunteer for 10 hours with area organizations to assist in delivering health and wellness programming that includes a final project. 
This final project is a collaborative a collaboration between the students and the community site in which students are charged with identifying current and sp specific needs that relate to physical activity, health, wellness, and or nutrition. Um, Sarah is truly amazing. She actually has grown the program where she has four different partners. Um, we often have uh, different faculty asking us about logistics and how do you manage it all. And we, we often um, hold up Sarah as sort of the, the, the key example of how it can be done. Um, she has a truly reciprocal project. Um, her community partners have also visited the classroom to give our students workshops in developing their skills working with children and adolescents. Um, she refocused um, her, the content of the classroom course to promote civic engagement with a special emphasis on local and national public health policies and initiatives for children and adolescents um, related to physical activity, physical education, and nutrition. So I am extremely pleased to be able to present the um, award for innovation and community engaged teaching to Dr. Sarah Kamhai.